Hey everyone, in this video we are diving into another useful topic to boost your productivity and improving your efficiency. In this video I am going to show you how you can create events in Salesforce automatically from new Zoom meetings. That's right, no more manual data entry and no more missed important meetings. Here you can set up this automation without any coding using a no code tool named as Pabli Connect and you can stay on top of your meetings and schedule. So let's start. To set up the automation workflow we are using Pabli Connect which is an integration and automation tool and this is the landing page of Pabli Connect. You can find the link of this page in the description. From here you can sign up for free and you will get free automation tasks every month. So guys sign up right now and after that sign in and select Pabli Connect product and you will reach the dashboard of Pabli Connect. From here click on this create workflow button. Here you can give a suitable name to this workflow. After that click on create button. So I have given the name here. Okay now you can click on create button and you can see the workflow page is loading up. And on this page guys you will find these two modules the trigger and the action. So our automation workflow is based on these two things only. So trigger is that event which is going to start the workflow and the action would be an automated consequence or the response towards the trigger. Okay, so in our use case guys, creating a meeting in Zoom is going to trigger the workflow and the action would be a uh, automated consequence which to create an event in Salesforce. Okay, so when you click on this trigger window, it will ask to choose the trigger application. Okay, so trigger application is that application in which the trigger event is occurring. Here guys, the, uh, creating a meeting in Zoom is going to trigger the workflow. So Zoom is our trigger application. Just search for it and then select it. Then you have to select the trigger event as configure webhook. Okay. And then click on connect button. From here select add new connection and here it will ask for the secret token of uh, zoom so guys you need to follow these instructions written here to get this token or you can watch a tutorial video by clicking on this watch the video tutorial button and here we have created a separate Hello. video for setting up the zoom trigger okay so you can just follow this video and find the token and paste it here okay so guys, I'm going to paste the link of this video in the description. You can watch the video and follow it to get your token. So guys, I have got my token generated here. I'm just going to copy it and I'm going to paste it here in this field and then click on save. And you can see we are now connected with Zoom and we got this webhook URL. Okay, now we are going to add this URL inside our Zoom account to make the proper connection. Okay or to get the data from zoom to here in this workflow okay now you can just click on this how to add web uh, webhooks in zoom account link and you will reach our uh, this page here we have guided how you can create a token and how you can uh, just add the webhook url inside the zoom account okay so you can read the instructions we have screenshots as well just follow them and you can do that let me just show you here guys after creating an app here in zoom app marketplace you will get the token and here you will find this event subscriptions option you just have to toggle this button to on then click on add event subscription okay this means we are defining on which event you want we want to send the data from zoom to our workflow so we want that when a meeting has been created then the workflow should trigger so here in the subscription name, let me just type as uh, test subscription. Here in this event notification endpoint URL field, you have to paste this webhook URL. Okay, so just copy this whole URL at once and paste it here inside this field. Okay, then you have to validate this URL. So guys, first of all, click on save and send test request button here. In your workflow and it will start showing waiting for the response of this connection okay now guys uh, come back to the app marketplace and here in the event subscription click on this validate button and your webhook url will be validated like this okay now 
you can click on this add events button to select the event on which you want to trigger the workflow. So just click on add events. Here you will find this meetings option, webinars option. So you can use bo both of these options. I'm using it for meetings uh, because I want to trigger the workflow on meetings. Okay. And here you can see under meeting option, we have this meeting has been created option. Check this box meeting has been created and now scroll down click on done right so one event is added here you can add as many events as you want and uh, but right now we are creating this workflow for meetings so i just have selected the meeting event okay now click on save and we are done click on continue and you can see our created application is activated on our zoom account okay now guys here you can see in the workflow it's still waiting for the response this means now we have to perform a test submission this means now i'm going to create a meeting manually inside zoom a test meeting okay or a sample meeting and the data of that meeting will be captured here in the response section to set up the automation further so i'm going back to my meetings uh, panel here i'm going to click on schedule a meeting option here guys you can uh, give a name to this meeting so I'm giving the name here as let's say new meeting. You can provide a description as, as you want. So I'm just typing here testing description. Okay, here you can select a date of the meeting. I'm selecting let's say 21. This is the time. This is the duration one hour. Okay, and this, this is not a recurring meeting and the meeting ID should be generated automatically and you can use all the options and here I'm clicking on save and as I'm going to uh, save or schedule this meeting you can see the meeting is is getting scheduled the data of the meeting will be captured in the response section of the workflow as well so guys my meeting has been scheduled named as new meeting okay let's see in our workflow if we got the data and here you can see guys we have received the data already and here you can see we have received the title of the meeting, the time zone, okay, the start time of the meeting, okay, the duration of the meeting, right. That's how we can capture the data. Now I want to create an event for this meeting in my Salesforce application, which I'm using as a CRM, okay. So search for Salesforce here in the action step and then select the action event as create record then click on connect button from here select add new connection then click on connect with salesforce so it might bring you to the login window of salesforce if you are not logged in but i have already logged in here so it is just asking me to provide the required access so click on allow here and you will be connected with salesforce like this all right after getting connected here it will ask for selecting the object so the object i want to create is an event so select event here okay and here it is asking for the name id related to id and the subject so in the subject guys i want to place the name of the meeting that has been created and captured here okay so here i am going to just click here on this field and the previous trigger up will appear here in the drop down and when you click on it you will find all the data right here so from here i'm going to map this topic label okay and here i'm going to type the uh, the title of the meeting here i'm going to type okay so it will be clear that this thing is going to happen in zoom okay location so in the location i'm going to map the zoom meetings joining url here you can see the joining url map it in the location field it is not a all day event so i have selected none option uh, there is no due date so i'm not selecting due dates duration i'm going to select the duration from the previous step here you can see the duration lab label map it start date time we also have start date time you can map it from the start time label we do not have any end date leave it blank for the description you can see if you have the description then map it so we didn't receive the description leave it blank okay it's a private meeting or not you can select it here show time is busy or out of office whatever you want i'm going to set it as busy okay to be marked on that time 
this is not a recurring meeting so uh, leave this recurrence fields blank okay you can select your time zone if you want so my time zone is asia kolkata but uh, uh, we are not using recurrence thing so you, what you can do uh, in this recurrence options just toggle this map button to on and erase the fields so it will remain blank okay in this recurrence type also map toggle the map button to on and erase this and uh, now come here and in the recurrence instance also map it map it on erase this okay here also toggle it and erase it so it will remain blank okay we, if you want reminder you can select true or false or none so let's uh, make it true for getting reminders also now guys uh, we are done mapping the required things now you can check your connection with salesforce by clicking on save and send test request button and a new event will be created here inside your salesforce dashboard this is my lightning dash dashboard and the recent items are these let us just click on save and send test request button and see if the recent items change okay all right so it is showing the response here as success and it is showing the value one let us see if we got uh, the data added here or the event created and here you can see in the recent items we got a new item or an event added this is an event new meeting in zoom okay this is what i have entered here new meeting in zoom right so this uh, these words in zoom is going to remain static because I'm, i have filled it manually but the mapped labels will be updated automatically in real time whenever you are going to create a new meeting in zoom okay so you have to set up this automation only once and after that it will work automatically whenever you are going to create a new meeting in zoom and the event will be created in salesforce automatically like this so here you can find the location start date time end date time everything okay and guys uh, i'm going to paste the link of this workflow in the description as well so that you can clone this workflow in your own free pably connect account and start using this automation instantly Guys, if you want to connect with our support team, you can email us at support at the .com. You can ask and discuss your queries on our forum via this link. And you can check the pricing plans of Pabli Connect via pabli.com slash connect hashtag pricing. And guys, if you like our videos, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you so much.